A future where humanity could create universes or control time may sound like pure science fiction, yet it's a possibility that some scientists are seriously considering. The rapid advancement of human civilization has been nothing short of astonishing. In a few millennia, we've gone from hunters and gatherers to creating complex societies, harnessing the power of the atom, and exploring the cosmos. We've seen the birth of the internet, artificial intelligence, and technologies that can alter the very fabric of life. All these developments have led some to speculate about the potential for humanity to rise to unprecedented heights of technological and scientific prowess. Yet this conversation is not just about technology. It's also about the philosophical and ethical implications of such advancements. If we could create universes, what responsibilities would we have towards the life that might develop there? If we could control time, what would that mean for our understanding of cause and effect, of free will? These are questions that we must grapple with as we continue to push the boundaries of our capabilities. As we look to the stars and dream of harnessing the energy of galaxies, we must also look inward to our values and our shared humanity. And as we think about the future, we must also consider the challenges we face in the present. Our planet is warming, with potentially catastrophic consequences. The need for sustainable, renewable energy sources is more pressing than ever. As we dream of becoming a Type 6 or 7 civilization, we must also ensure that we have a planet that can sustain us on this journey. The road to becoming a Type 7 civilization will be fraught with challenges, some of which we can anticipate, and others that are yet unknown. Scientists suggest that we will face unprecedented problems along the way, problems that will test our ingenuity, our resilience, and our commitment to each other. But before we delve into the futuristic realms of Type 7 civilizations, let's first understand the measuring scale that makes such categorizations possible. Enter the Kardashev scale, a method of categorizing civilizations by their ability to harness energy. This scale, proposed by Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev in the mid-20th century, offers a roadmap for the potential future of humanity, one that stretches our understanding of energy, technology, and our place in the universe. At the base of the scale, we find the Type 1 civilization. This is a planetary society, capable of harnessing all of the energy available on its home planet. Imagine a world where no gust of wind, no ray of sunlight and no rush of a river goes untapped, where every iota of energy is captured and put to use, powering cities, fueling transportation and driving innovation. Next up we have the Type 2 civilization, a stellar society that has moved beyond its planetary confines and can now harness all the energy of its star. Picture a civilization that has built a Dyson Sphere, a megastructure that encapsulates their star, capturing every speck of its output. They've tamed the power of a star, turning its light and heat into a resource to fuel their society's ever-growing needs. Finally, we reach the Type 3 civilization, a galactic society that can harness all the energy in its galaxy. This civilization has spread across the stars, tapping into the power of billions of stars, black holes and other cosmic phenomena. They've mastered interstellar travel, terraforming and even the manipulation of space-time itself. But here's where things get interesting. The Kardashev scale isn't limited to these three stages. There are proposals for Type 4 and Type 5 civilizations, ones that harness the energy of multiple galaxies, or even the entire universe. But what if we told you that the scale doesn't stop at Type 3? Yes, there are even speculations about civilizations that transcend our current understanding of physics, reaching into the realm of the purely theoretical, but that's a story for another time. For now, let's keep our feet planted firmly in the realm of the conceivable and explore how we might progress along this fascinating scale. Imagine a civilization so advanced that it harnesses not just the energy of a galaxy, but of multiple galaxies, or even the entire universe. Welcome to the realm of Type 6 and 7 civilizations. Let's venture beyond the Kardashev scale to a place where our current understanding of physics may not even apply. A Type 6 civilization, by our best guess, would have the power to control the energy of multiple universes. This isn't just about harnessing energy anymore, but rather manipulating the very fabric of reality itself. Now hold on to your hats because we're about to take another quantum leap. Picture a Type 7 civilization. This is a civilization that has transcended dimensions with the ability to manipulate time and even create universes. It's as though they've unlocked the cheat codes to the universe, bending it to their will. But let's pause for a moment. 
these concepts are purely speculative. Even the most brilliant minds can only guess what such civilizations might be like. We're trying to comprehend entities that are as far beyond us as we are beyond an ant. It's a humbling thought, isn't it? Moreover, stepping into these realms of power comes with unprecedented challenges. What are the ethics of creating a universe? What happens when you alter the flow of time? These are questions we can barely begin to answer. Yet, even as we grapple with these mind-boggling concepts, we must remember that they are distant dreams. We are currently a Type 0 civilization, still struggling to fully harness the energy of our own planet. We have a long, long way to go before we can even think about playing with universes or time. Beyond the Kardashev scale lies a realm of unimaginable power and complexity. It's a realm where the laws of physics might be more like guidelines, and where the line between science and magic blurs. Yet, as we dream about these advanced civilizations, our own planet faces a pressing issue. Climate change is threatening Earth's capacity to sustain life, a problem that even a Type 1 civilization would need to overcome. As we stand on the brink of becoming a Type 1 civilization, we are faced with a world grappling with the effects of climate change. Our planet's glaciers are melting, sea levels are rising, and extreme weather events are becoming more frequent and violent. Now you might ask, what does this have to do with advancing civilization? The answer is simple, yet profound. As we strive to harness the energy of our planet we must simultaneously face the challenge of protecting and preserving it. Here, renewable energy plays a crucial role. By harnessing the power of the wind, sun and water, we can generate electricity without emitting harmful greenhouse gases. This is not just about saving our planet, it's about ensuring our survival as we ascend the Kardashev scale. The shift towards renewable energy is not a mere choice but a necessity. It's an essential step towards becoming a more advanced civilization. As we dream of controlling galaxies and bending time, we must first learn to control our own impact on the Earth. This is not a detour from our path to becoming a Type 7 civilization but rather an integral part of the journey. We must remember that the advancement of civilization is not just about technological prowess. It's also about responsibility and stewardship over our planet. As we continue to evolve, we must balance our thirst for knowledge and power with our duty to protect and sustain the very world that birthed us. Our journey up the Kardashev scale will undoubtedly be filled with challenges, some of which we can't even begin to comprehend. But let's not overlook the challenge that's right in front of us. Climate change is not just an Earth problem, it's a civilization problem and solving it is a crucial step in our evolution. While we strive to reach higher on the Kardashev scale, we must also ensure the survival of our home planet. Because in the grand scheme of things, what good is a civilization that can control universes if it can't even save its own home? Becoming a Type 7 civilization is a journey filled with complexity and unpredictability. It's akin to stepping into a vast, uncharted wilderness, armed with nothing but our curiosity and the thirst for knowledge. Advancing to a Type 7 civilization isn't just about harnessing unimaginable amounts of energy, it's also about navigating the unknowns, the problems and challenges we can't even fathom at our current stage of evolution. We are talking about a civilization that goes beyond anything we can currently comprehend. We're envisaging a society that can create universes, manipulate time, and control the very fabric of reality. This isn't just science fiction, it's a potential future that lies at the outermost edge of human imagination. However, this journey isn't without its perils. As we evolve and advance, we may encounter problems of a scale and complexity that dwarf anything we've faced before. These could be technological challenges, ethical dilemmas or even existential threats that we can't currently foresee. It's like a chess player trying to anticipate moves 10 steps ahead while only understanding the rules for the first three. Moreover, the journey to becoming a Type 7 civilization isn't linear. It's not a progression from point A to point B. It's a complex dynamic process filled with twists and turns, advances and setbacks. We may need to take detours, backtrack and even pause to reassess our path. But despite the uncertainties and potential pitfalls, the journey is worth undertaking. It's a quest for knowledge, a pursuit of the ultimate potential of our species. It's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible, stretching the limits of our understanding and redefining our place in the universe. As we push the boundaries of human potential and knowledge, we embark on a journey that will not only redefine our civilization, but also our understanding of the universe and our place in it. This journey to becoming a Type 7 civilization is more than a scientific endeavor. It's a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity, 
our relentless pursuit of knowledge, and our audacious dreams of a future beyond the stars.